Hey there, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. Earlier today, I was cruising down the interstate. I was actually headed down to visit with one of my daughters, and I just had this thought hit me. It's something that I've thought about a few times, but it really hit me in the surroundings I was in, the situation that I was in on the on the interstate, just uh, cruising down uh, I-65 here in Indiana. And it's something that this might be a little bit of a controversial thought or an idea, but I want to express with you and share with you what this idea is. When I discovered this, or when I really came to grips with what I want to share with you on the episode today, it really changed the trajectory of my own life. So as I mentioned, this might be a little bit of a controversial idea, but at the same time, it's super powerful and I'm super excited to bring it to you today. So hang tight and let's jump into the episode. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, as I mentioned there in a little bit of an intro, I was actually just earlier today, I was cruising down the interstate and a thought really came to my mind that, as I mentioned, I've had this thought a few times, but it really hit me today and just doing some some contemplation, just thinking about it. And it was something so powerful that I really wanted to bring it to you today in a podcast episode. If you catch what I'm about to say and not allow it to trigger you in a negative sense, I'm telling you, it could be super powerful because it has been for me as well. And here what that idea is is that in reality, life, in life, there really aren't any rules. There really aren't any rules. And where do I get that from? And where does that stem from? Cruising down the interstate today, uh, headed down to visit one of my daughters. Well, so on the interstate, if you've ever, where I'm coming to you from the United States. So if you're in the US, you can probably have, you've seen situations, right? Where you're either in the fast lane or in the slow lane. And you're either going 100 mile an hour or 80 or 85 or whatever the number is, or you're really being conservative and only going right at the speed limit or even sometimes below the speed limit. And that's really when it hit me today. And I've had this thought before, but it really hit me. Uh, I was actually in the in the uh, faster lane uh, cruising down uh, the interstate today. But what really hit me or what really hit me was is that there really aren't any rules. There really are self-imposed rules like you have the thought that there's going to be a cop or a police officer right around the corner that's going to get you, right? That's the idea. When in reality, it's in my experience, I've been driving for a very, very long time. And have I had, have I been pulled over? Sure. Have I had tickets in the past? Of course, not a ton, three or four, maybe total in my what? 30 plus years of driving. The point being is that the self-imposed thought, thinking the belief that right around the corner is going to be law enforcement that is going to put us or put me uh, kind of in you know a situation where I'm going to potentially get a ticket or I'm going to get in trouble, keeps me or has usually keeps other people from moving forward. And so that's the thought that I want to leave with you today. What are the self-imposed beliefs, self-imposed rules that you're living by in your life that may or may not be reality, may or may not be true. Uh, As I was cruising down the interstate today is we came up on a few people that were, in my opinion, they were going too slow. So it's just as dangerous to go too slow as it is too fast. Now, I wasn't driving recklessly. I wasn't zooming in and out and weaving and bobbing and all that kind of stuff. I was just keeping up a constant, steady pace with about a group of maybe three or four different individuals. We weren't necessarily doing anything, quote unquote, dangerous. We were just traveling at a little bit larger rate of speed than the uh, majority that were on the interstate. But the people that were going too slow were and potentially could be causing as much damage or as much uh, issues with those of us that are out there than the, those of us that are going a little bit faster uh, on the way home from the same experience is that I we were at an intersection and this person was taking the, the turn so slow that it was bottlenecking the entire intersection. They were trying to be so conservative with the way they were driving that it was completely disrupting not only themselves, but then everybody else around them. So that's where I want you to take that thought, take that idea and that reflection of 
what are the rules that you're living by today that were either self-imposed or something that you believe or something that has been fed into you that may or may not be true? So a couple of those for me uh, that it took me a long time to discover this. And once I did, it really, it, it's almost like it released me to be able to go out and become the person that I am today to launch the podcast, to have successful businesses, to own some real estate, to have a great family, to all of these things. And I'm not saying that my family or, or myself personally, I'm the best thing in the whole wide world. That's not what I'm implying. But what I am saying is that when I released myself from the self-imposed rules that people were putting on me, then I was able to express myself in a different way, which has been a lot more fun. But so a couple of those rules for myself growing up, uh, one of the rules that I've struggled with for a very long time is everybody always told me that in order to be successful in life, you had to go to school, you had to get a degree, you had to get educated. And what I've discovered is that isn't necessarily the truth. Now, if you and aspire to be a doctor or something that requires some certification to, you know, fulfill a lifelong dream, then yes, of course, you need to go get some schooling. But in terms of just being successful in life, it doesn't require a degree on the wall. Now, if that's something that you want to pursue, as I mentioned, if that's a huge goal of yours, then go do it. But at the same time, if that is something that you feel like you have to do because of a rule that somebody has put in, pl in front of you, like, was put in front of me so many times, I'm here to tell you that that for me, in my experience, isn't necessarily the case. And so I want you to question that rule. Where is it coming from? Why is it important or not important? And do I believe it? And if you choose not to believe it, then let it go. Don't let it keep control of you moving forward. Question these things. Start trying to question everything that comes into your awareness and challenging those rules that are going on in your life. Here's another rule that this was brought on by uh, my father and he lived this rule till the day he died and he was trying to instill it in me. And I was perfectly going down this path, meaning I was, I was doing exactly what my father had, you know, told me what I should do. And it was never, it was never going to be a good thing. I was miserable more times than not. But what that rule was, was that you go to work, you find a company that you can go to work for. You do a good job. You show up, you grind, you work as hard as you possibly can. You improve your way up the, the ladder of success within that company, whether it's a managerial type position or maybe you're going for a C-suite C level position within that company. And you work and you continue to work until basically you reach this pinnacle point out there in the future called retirement. And then that company is going to take care of you. That was a rule. That was something that my father shared with me and and basically made me believe was the truth and the only way to make it in the world to the point where that's exactly what I had done. I had spent almost 20 years just grinding, working for a company, doing everything I possibly could to try to get myself propelled within that company. And when I realized it was that at the end of the day, that company didn't necessarily care about me. They didn't necessarily care about the people that, that worked for them, right? So, so it was a big corporation. We had thousands of people that worked for them. But at the end of the day, when the numbers came in, when the business started to not do so well, it started to make some cuts and it started to, to draw back and started to eliminate some different positions, some different stores. That is when I realized that the rule that I was living by of going to work, grinding, hustling for the same company, day in, day out, thinking that that company was going to take care of me and my family moving forward, I realized very quickly and in that moment that that was not necessarily the truth. And I would uh, like to make sure that you know that as well. Now, I'm not saying working for somebody is a bad idea. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I am saying is don't wrap up your entire value you put on yourself. Your entire self-worth should not be wrapped up into this position at work. Do your work to the best of your ability, 100%. But don't get yourself wrapped up so much into that position and into that status that you lose sight of who you really are. Who do you need to become? What is it that you're trying to get out there into the world to become this person that the world needs you to be? Your family, yourself, your community. You can develop a community 
a digital community, right? You can launch your own podcast. You can do so many different things if you get yourself out of that rule, thinking that you have to just go to work, grind, do the nine to five, rinse and repeat. So if you're in that hamster wheel, that cycle of going through those processes and you're realizing that this isn't it, this can't be it, that's exactly where I was. That's exactly where I was not too long ago. And that's the exciting part. If you take control, if you make the decision to understand that these rules out there in the world, now I'm not saying that we should not be making decisions morally, right? We don't need to hurt people. We don't need to put other people in danger. I mean, I understand those rules, right? That we have as humans, but these self-imposed rules from different organizations, whether it's, you know, a school, whether it's uh, parents, whether it's a job, whether it's whatever the rules and wherever those rules are coming from, are they serving you or are they keeping you from achieving what you really want? So stepping out and realizing that the rules were keeping me bound up allowed me then to realize, and just like launching this podcast and just like having this conversation with you today is exactly what I want to do. It allows me and it gives me a creative outlet. I've been a creative person my entire life. I love to draw. I love to think through complex situations and try to come up with ideas of how to solve those things. Now, I never was very good in school. My IQ level, I guess you would say, was never, I was never great in terms of, of the school environment. But now out here in the real world, trying to be creative, trying to be helpful and serve other people, I absolutely love it. And that's what I would encourage for you as well. Challenge those rules, the rules of your life that you feel and believe are 100% set in stone. I would argue that they are not. And if you have the courage, it's going to take some courage because it did for me. As I mentioned, the, the, rule that, the rules that my father was putting on me, I had to challenge him. Uh, not necessarily in a physical sense, like I didn't necessarily go up and... and, and visibly or even uh, you know, voice my opinions to him, but I had to take back the thoughts that were in my mind. And that was a huge challenge. I'd spent my entire life working hard to try to please that man. And when I realized that the, the path he was leading me down wasn't exactly where I wanted to go, it took some courage. And luckily I was able and willing to do that. And hopefully you will have the courage to do that as well. So go out there, Think through the rules that are keeping you locked in this life that you might be just totally miserable. You might not be happy at all. There might be, you might have all the, the things right out there in life. You might have the nice car. You might have the nice house. You might have the boat and the stuff, right? I just call it stuff. You might have all the stuff, but in reality, inside, in your internal thoughts, in everything that's going on, you're not winning within. And that's what I want to argue for and help you with on the Rich Mind Podcast and everything else that I'm producing out there in the world today. So go out there, focus on being great, take back control, get those rules and find them and really think about them. Is this really how I want to lead my life? And I'm encouraging you to challenge them. And if it's not what you truly want, flip the script, try to figure out a way to challenge it and just push the envelope a little bit. See if you can't push that rule a little bit further than maybe what you normally would. It might be pushing you a little bit out, outside your comfort zone. And I totally get that because that's exactly what it did for me. But what I'll tell you is that if you do that and you consistently do that and show up, your life will completely be changed uh, and it'll be what you want, not what somebody else wants. And that's, in my opinion, is what's most important. So as I mentioned, Go out there, have a fantastic day. If you found this message valuable, if you would, wouldn't mind sharing it with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to obviously grow the rich mind and share what I'm learning, uh, what I have learned with as many people as I possibly can. And if you would help me possibly do that for your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to bringing back to you some fantastic guests. That's one thing that's happening on the Rich Mind Podcast. I've stepped into reaching out and having more guests coming on very, very soon. I'm going to have some fantastic conversations with entrepreneurs and business owners and self-help folks and all different kinds of conversations. I'm so excited about it that I'm going to have those conversations coming to you very soon. I'm excited to release those uh, as well. So make sure you're subscribed to the, to the podcast. Make sure if you're joining me here on YouTube that you subscribe to the channel. 
And don't miss out because I'm telling you the wisdom that's going to be shared by the guests that I have lined up. I've already concluded a few of those interviews and they're fantastic. These people know their stuff and they can really help you bridge that gap from where you are now to this dream life in the future. Have a fantastic day. I'm going to bring it to an end there. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to coming back to you again very soon. Until then, bye now. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. And remember, your external world is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So focus every day on that internal battle and win within. Until next time, my friends.